hello guys welcome to a kind of sunny day not really here in london and yes as per the title of this video we are outside harrods or i am outside harrods um because i got a food shop today we've got some special treats to get and yes no doubt this is probably the same beginning as my last harrods vlog um if you haven't watched that one that one is from christmas i'll link it in the description um and at the end as well but yeah it is summer and it was my niece's birthday the other day plus my sister's been poorly so i thought let's go and get some extra nice food very loud cargo pass um yeah from harrods now i've been to harrods quite a few times um in like the last six months but i just haven't vlogged it but now with the different rules here in um england maybe it should be okay and not too bad to film it is saturday afternoon i think it's about half three now which probably is not the best time um oh there's my there's my car not um but we'll see how busy it is let's let's do this let's head on in literally not filmed in a shop in absolutely ages so apologies if oh, I didn't do a very good job of it but I've got like a mini list of like things that I want to get like I said I just want to get some like nice food and yeah my poor sister I'm sure she won't mind me saying has had kidney stones so I'm bringing the food and also I don't want to film people so do bear with if I'm swooping around a bit quick I didn't have to queue to get in as you saw because social distancing and everything um is not like required chocolate hall has been redone which i was so surprised because it did not need a refurb <laughs> it has been redone again so i'm gonna do like a little bit of a chocolate tour now i don't really need to get any chocolate i do need to get like savory and some kind of birthday cake but maybe maybe we will i feel like today's vlog is just gonna be like if i want it i'm getting it i mean within reason guys i do ha have bills to pay but um yeah look how gorgeous all of this new shop fit is. If you've watched my, yeah, watch my other one, you can see how much has changed. I don't know if I can find any photos on Google. So this whole massive room is all just chocolate. And we're talking like chocolates. There is more cake and sweet treats in a whole another room. I've got this like whole section. Can you see that chocolate tap going on there? And you can see me, hi guys. But I'm guessing, obviously this is where they make quite a lot of it or display a little, a little show. But wow, we've got macarons, everything your heart could desire. Can't show you everything, and I know people complain that I do panning shots a bit too quickly. It's the frame rate on my camera. Not my camera work, I promise. Well, I try. But we're just gonna have a sweet round. Oh, it's making me hungry. I've literally just had lunch. I had very, very late lunch, but I'm gonna have to get something, right? Oh, and there's lots of sale stuff as well, by the way. There's quite a lot of sale stuff for Christmas as well quite a bit of 50% off so you got self-service checkouts which I don't remember last time but yeah look at this room absolutely stunning We've got a little bit of a well I guess that's not for social distance There's a little bit of perspex going on still I have such a sweet tooth. This this is dangerous because this is, you know, it's gonna cost you a few pennies. Oh, yummy. We've got some dates. This is a really, really lovely area. And by the way, if you're coming here, if you're a tourist, don't be scared to come around here. Like, you don't have to buy stuff. I mean, you probably will want to. Love it. Oh, look at that packaging. That is amazing. I'm not, I'm not gonna attempt to pronounce it. Also, I definitely need another cup of tea today. I can't get my words out. I say this quite often in um, vlogs. So I'm probably stumbling over my words. But look at this pick -a mix Is it Venti? There's quite a few of these in London now, actually. Um, oh, people are gonna ask how much is it? Um, let me have a look. It's probably gonna be a bit more than the cinema. <laughs> I mean, the cinema's a ripoff, isn't it? Um, what does it say? Oh, okay, I think you have to do them per style for flavour. So £6 per 100 grams, 7.20, 7.40, yeah, I think 7, oh no, this, that one's £8, whatever that is. Um, yeah, 6 to 8 quid per 100 grams. But I love these display boxes. Look at these all gifting boxes, shall I say. Um, ooh. I do want to get Nat, like, something special. Oh, look at this. It's like a little book. The £16. Oh, my God. So very similar to Fortnum Mason. They've got, like, a section which has got, like, meringues and different, like, Turkish delights. And they have fudge. Yeah, if you're watching this, you probably want to grab a snack or something. 
not quite as busy as I thought it'd be. I think because it's slightly later. Oh wow, look at that. Oh my god, my dad would love that. Um, yeah, it's not completely rammed. I thought it would be choco choco. And I meant choco choco is in choco block, not as in chocolate. That wasn't a dad joke. <laughs> and now we are into like the main food area of like fresh food, deli, and everything savory. And this is where I, I've specifically come to get bits for um, my family. I mean, I'm pretty sure my three year old niece isn't really going to care if it's from flipping Poundland or Harrods, but. My family deserve a treat, so I'm gonna do. Do I do a recce first? Okay, it's quite busy in here to be fair. So I'm gonna try not to film people, but I'm thinking like picky bits. Do you know what I mean? I feel like. Is that a British thing? Picky bits? Right, let's get towards picky bits. Beige things. Here we go. Definitely a sausage roll for sure. Okay, yeah, I'm gonna have to like whiz round just at the seafood section. I'm not gonna be getting caviar, oh my gosh, um, but they got loads of really good looking sushi. Those crab hand rolls look amazing, but you name it, they've got it. Okay, salad bar. I do really, really recommend like coming in here, and if you do want a really nice lunch, they've got so many to go boxes and stuff, and I no doubt mentioned this last time that I was here. Um, they've got really good sandwiches, a little obviously it is a smidge more than what you'd pay maybe in prayer. I'm pretty whizzing past this way too quickly, but even like little sandwiches and roll boxes, really nice. Oh yes, I think I regretted not getting one of these last time. I can't remember what I got a few weeks ago. So we'll come back. Basically you get it all and then you like put it in your basket or your trolley and then you pay. So if you're with your family, like don't worry, you don't have to give them cash or anything. Um, but yeah, you can just pay them once. Pay in once, I mean pay once. You know what I mean. We've got some exotic fruits, exotic-ish. I'm definitely gonna get a juice or a smoothie from here because I need it. I absolutely love fish. I love fish so much. I would have no idea how to cook any of it though. So um, yeah. Okay, it's time to grab a basket, I think. Yeah, and we're not cooking anything tomorrow, so I'm just gonna get like picnic stuff. Oh, rotisserie smells amazing. Hi, can I get one of the pulled pork and apple jam sausage rolls? And also this red onion and chutney one as well. Yeah, that's fine. Same bag, same box. Thank you. I just want to get a vegetarian scotch egg. Let's go with... Let's go with a jalapeno scotch egg. Let's give that a go. A couple of sausage rolls. Oh my gosh, they're heavy. Fun beige food. It's the best, isn't it? Can I get one of the salmon gatto slices and then one of these... Bellinis. Yeah, bellinis. Thank you. Oh my gosh, these look amazing. They're massive, we don't need more than one. Um, I was tempted by the prawn cocktail, but not too bothered. There's quite a few empty gaps, but I guess it is gone four o'clock. Thank you so much. Oh Cheers, bye. Look at that, how cool. Yum, okay, let's get it in the basket. Oh, I guess when it's really busy, they've got to take a ticket here. Hmm. And if my camera wants to get in focus, um, if you haven't watched my vlogs before, basically I have an older sister who's married and got two little girls and they love seafood and crazy food. Like one of the favourite foods that one of my nieces loves is mussels and broccoli. What? And she hates like pizza. <laughs> That's not normal. <laughs> Which is crazy because I know that they would really love like pate. Do I get some cold meats? Um, yeah, maybe. Oh, hold on, what have we got here? Okay, oh this is a cute idea. So they've got these like grab and go boxes. Oh, those are fun. A little, um, a little dried meats, cured meats. And we've got a little, I'm gonna touch this for a sec, scone, scone box for six pound, a couple of scones. Yummy. Oh, and I totally walked past these. Look at these tiny little pots. You can see there's like a millionaire shortbread, a uh, cheesecake pot. These are like, uh, four pound and three fifty. I don't think that's too bad. That's gonna be pretty sickly in like a nice way. Um, oh, and little olive pots if you don't want to get them from the counter. Oh, maybe I'll get some of these. I need them with, yeah, pitted. Let's, let's give these ones a go. God, I do really get fed up with this camera. It doesn't work half the time. Then we've got like the Indian section food, which had a massive queue a second ago, so it must be pretty good. We do have the pasta section, which honestly, I could just live on. Look at all of this fresh pasta. Raviolis. Oh my god, £1.70 each. 
it would end up being about 20 quid's worth. Actually, probably more than that. Look at that beef and truffle tortellini. Oh my gosh, black cod with sweet soy glaze. I love black and cod. That's like one of my favorite things. Maybe we'll get some like spring rolls or something. Yeah, let's do that. I'm sure they'll be fine. We'll wrap them in the oven. So I'm just gonna get two of the duck spring rolls and two of the vegetable spring rolls. I'm quite tempted by the prawn, but I've got a load of salmon, so maybe that's enough fish. But look at these amazing katsu curry dishes for eight quid, they're amazing. It really does come in like waves. All of a sudden it's really busy and then it's like kind of, you know, space to actually walk. So uh, yeah, do come here guys. It's awesome, even just for a browse. But don't blame me if you end up spending like 50 quid on cake. Look at that, lovely jubbly. Right, maybe you should get some salad, you know, health and all that. Maybe I'll just get one of the pots that are already made. Prawn, salmon, and Caesar. Let's go with one of these. We'll go with the chicken, Caesar, pasta. It says it's got pasta in it. Oh, it has. Pasta salad. Okay, I want to get one of these. These look awesome. Oh my god, look at that BLT. Look, how much bacon is in that? That is mental. Okay, um, do I get both? It's getting heavy. I might have to get like a trolley or something. Just spotted the Wagyu hats to Sando, excuse my pronunciation. Damn, that's a fancy sandwich, but I'm gonna get one of these. The longer I stand here, the more I want I want to get stuff. Um, maybe I'll get something for tonight for my dinner. I don't know. We'll have a look. <laughs> Thank you so much. Cheers. We don't need any fruit, but let's get a smoothie. Um, I think they usually do like so they got signature smoothies they are very oh can you even see that i'm not massive on ones that are like very very fruit sugary the bottom one's pretty quite a good one avocado kale spinach cucumber and pineapple so they have pre-made ones or you can get one done I'm not sure if they're open for biz oh here we go that's a bit easier uh signature juices and smoothies I feel like a juice is better, right? I'll go with the super green yeah, smoothie. Is that? Smoothie. smoothie, yeah. Is that a good one? Yeah, it's good. Cool. Awesome. Okay, got my smoothie, but now we're gonna go into the bakery, which probably will be quite hard to film. I'll do my best if I can get this flipping camera in focus. Um, but yeah, rotisserie and bake hall. We do want a few extra bits of carbs. Now they do have like sausage rolls here. I think, uh, I think they're a little bit different. I think they're slightly smaller. That pretzel looks amazing. Okay, we maybe we'll get like an olive stick or something. This is like self-service, so, ooh, yes. Okay, we're gonna get a couple of bits here. Hmm, oh, we haven't even got to the other bits. There's a whole bread section here as well. You can get like four loaves of bread if you want. I remember showing you this in the Christmas vlog. Amazing. Well, we've got lots of donuts and croissants and cakes, but there are proper cakes in a second. <laughs> and as you've probably heard someone saying how big the croissants are, because they are, they're huge. Right, let's grab some bits. Right, just got a couple of olive sticks wrapped up, so you can quite fit in the bag. Um, and yeah, it's happening. I'm, I've gone for the trolley. We're doing it. We don't need any tea. I don't think I do anyway. Oh, it smells amazing in here. But yeah, this coffee place is really cute. Always a queue though. Oh, here we go, proper cake section. Right, I need to get a little birthday cake or something. Oh gosh, this is... <laughs> okay, we're gonna start from one side. I wanna get an actual cake, I think, rather than like little cakes. Um, please take a ticket, right, this is a busy one. We've got a couple of pies. It's probably quite similar to when I last showed you guys. We don't need a cake that big, that's not so massive. Uh, red velvet, chocolate fudge cake. I would like to get something maybe chocolatey, I don't know. Oh, that's a bit boring looking. Banana caramel, vanilla mini cake, um, salted caramel and black forest. That's quite a cute little one. Um, those cakes were, they were okay, but maybe I'll just get like a few individual cakes. Oh, look at that summer berry eaten mass. Do I just get a few little cakes? Maybe we'll do that. But one, one cake is nice though, isn't it? I wasn't that impressed. Oh, look at that, Harrod signature. Mm, what do you think? Oh, I'm thinking maybe I should just get loads of little cakes now. Should I? 
God, I feel like my narration's been shocking on this vlog. I do apologize. But this is the patisserie section. I can actually show you now. It's not a million people stood around. Uh, yeah, still pushing my little trolley. Oh, that's me. Let's go with the vanilla one and then I'll get some other chocolate things over there. Okay, cool. Because that's more birthday looking, isn't it? I'm thinking should probably grab maybe like a couple of these as well. Um, oh, what should I get? I really want to get this just for me, generally. Yeah, we totally should. We're getting those four at the back plus that vanilla cake as well. I don't even care anymore, guys. Oh, and they do do cupcakes. Oh, maybe I should have got those with them. I'm a bit boring. They're quite cute though, look at these little sacks. It's a nice little gift. Right, it's just wrapping up the cakes. What I'll do is insert a picture now of the cakes that I got, because I don't know if I showed you properly, but let's continue. I don't know how much more food I really need, to be honest. So I'm just gonna have a look at the 50% off section here for hampers and things. I don't really need anything, but honestly, who cares? We're having a fun day. Absolute gift goals isn't it getting a hamper and like the actual hamper is so cool i've got like a hamper box thing that i use as a side table um i haven't been using it recently just because i had to move a flat run and i haven't really got room but yeah love it well i haven't got any dinner so i'm just gonna pop back into the fresh market hall they call it and um I haven't got any dinner, guys. I need to get some milk as well. <laughs> I'm going to go for a Korean chicken wrap. I kind of will probably eat most of that when I get home. Okay, I think I'm over it. This place is doing my head in. Let's pay. Three bags later. I'm very scared these are going to get, like, ruined. I'm just inside of, like, the food area, which is absolutely stunning. Obviously, they've still got quite a lot of perspex and separation up, which is fine by me. Um, I'm not going to get any food, but I'm thinking um, I might just, like, get a drink and chill because, you know, food shopping was stressful. This is a nice little setting. Um, I actually said to my friend this morning, I was like, I just want to go to Harrods, like, buy some food and then have a drink and just chill for a second because it's really nice to be like out i did actually go out for dinner last night with an amazing tasting menu which is why i didn't come this morning because we had the wine pairing and i was like oh, this morning honestly i can't drink anymore i'm getting old but yeah if you're coming here and you're in your own there's actually loads of people sat here on their own just having an early dinner i'm guessing I'm not sure what time it is but let's grab a drink i know you guys love seeing a menu and i love looking at menus so let me just show you um i'm at the what do they call it caviar house bit well obviously i'm not having caviar not really for me um but i think i might have maybe a glass of red wine or something uh, every time i have rosé i find i just don't like it if anyone's got any good rosé suggestions do let me know i like a suggestion um, we've got some cocktails. There's actually a few places to get a drink in here, including the pizza place, but that is always absolutely rammed. Angle back there. Um, so, I think I might get... I'm so indecisive today, so I went with a Malbec. Oh, I wish my sister was here, and I've just messaged um, my friend Karen, who I actually said to her, I was like, you should have come with me. But this isn't too shabby, just chilling. This is probably gonna make me fall asleep. But I'm just gonna answer some messages, Maybe we'll probably do some emails. I'm really bad at doing work at the weekend, but um, yeah, I'm trying to get better. So actually, it's not all caviar, my gosh. You've got a, um, I've got to know what over there. You've got a pasta bar, you've got like a fish and chips place over there, uh, the grill, there's like a rotisserie thing, a sushi bar, which I think I just showed you or about to show you. Um, but if you were interested, here is the menu for the caviar. Um, I, like I said, I love seafood. I'm not even gonna lie guys, it's like an hour and a half later. I'm just having another glass. I know people will be like, that's really weird, you're drinking on your own, but I'm just kind of like on my phone. I've just been um, on a video call, an audio call with my dad for like half an hour in Judy, which was really nice to chat about things. And yeah, I'm just gonna carry on messaging all my friends back and I've got a couple of calls to make. I'm actually 
sat here just like catching up on some, well, DFB, because I love DFB. But um, yeah, nice little early Saturday evening. And just like that, guys, let me hold you up. Oh my god, this lighting is not it at all, my face. I'm, I'm a bit tired, I must admit. I think everyone in the UK the last week, we've all slept so badly. It's been like 33 degrees, which I think is like 90, 91 degrees. And we don't have aircon, and our houses are designed to be insulated to, to hold heat. Anyway, I digress. So um, it's like quarter to seven now. I think all the food's gone warm. I'm gonna whack it in the fridge, and I'm sure, I'm sure it'll be fine for tomorrow. Um, but yeah, I've literally called like three of my friends chatting for absolute ages, replied to everyone, replied to my Instagram. I get really, really really behind so I do apologize but um yeah I hope you enjoyed this kind of horribly very dizzy rushed rambling tour of Harrods food hall um or food hall I should call it um yeah so back to London vlog so thank you for making it this far in the vlog much appreciated come and say hi over on Instagram and I will see you in the next vlog like and subscribe and I'll see you next time bye